A decade ago, electric vehicles were a rarity. Though they've been around since the 19th century, the popularity of this form of transportation really didn't take off until more recently. Each year, more and more automotive companies are entering the race to dominate the electric vehicle market, with Tesla reigning supreme for years. But with all this change and push toward newer electric vehicles, what does the future of this industry and gas-powered vehicles look like? Electric vehicles first appeared in the U.S. in the 1890s and in 1900 made up more than a third of all automobiles on the road. These electric vehicles, made from rechargeable lead-acid batteries, only had a range of 60 to 80 miles. In contrast, today's electric vehicles range from 250 to 410 miles. At the time, these vehicles were popular among women who preferred this means of travel over gasoline vehicles, which often were noisy, smelly, and required a hand crank to start the engine. It wouldn't be until the turn of the 20th century when abundant cheap oils were discovered, leading to a decrease in gas prices. The invention of the highly affordable gas-powered Ford Model T inevitably led to the decline of electric vehicles and ushered in the dominance of the internal combustion engine for over a century, at least so we thought. Fast forward to 2008, when Tesla debuted its Roadster model, marking a new milestone for the modern era. The all-electric, mass-produced sports car paved the way for the resurgence we see today. In 2023, the U.S. sold 1.6 million electric vehicles, a 60% increase from 2022, with Tesla accounting for nearly 60% of the total market share in the U.S. But electric vehicles aren't just about cool new tech and market domination. They work differently from gas cars in fundamental ways. Gas cars use internal combustion engines, which ignite a mix of air and fuel in the engine's piston to turn the wheels. But a lot of energy is lost to heat. Only about 25% of it actually moves the car. On the other hand, electric vehicles use induction motors. When you hit the pedal, two-thirds of the energy produced goes directly into moving the wheels. Plus, there are only about 20 moving parts under the hood of an electric vehicle, which means less maintenance and fewer things that can go wrong. One of the big selling points of electric vehicles is their potential to reduce carbon emissions. While they have zero tailpipe emissions, producing the electricity used to charge their batteries can still emit greenhouse gases. However, research suggests that even when accounting for this, electric vehicles produce much less greenhouse gases than their gas-powered counterparts. But it's not all smooth sailing. Electric vehicles store electricity in heavy lithium-ion batteries, which contain minerals like lithium, nickel, cobalt, and magnesium. Mining these minerals has raised environmental and ethical concerns regarding the impact on local workers and communities worldwide. By the end of 2023, there were 3.3 million electric vehicles on U.S. roads, making up about 1% of all vehicles. But electric vehicles accounted for 7.6% of new car sales in 2023, up from around 6% in 2022 and 3% in 2021. Analysts expect the number of electric vehicles on the road to continue to climb as charging networks expand and the technology becomes normalized among consumers. Are you ready for the future of electric vehicles? If you found this video insightful and want to dive deeper into the technology that drives our world, subscribe to our channel.